Hi everyone. I'm here today to talk to you about migrations and migrating to MariaDB. MariaDB is here to help you migrate. We offer various options from a full service to a self-service option. With the full service process, you'll be allocated an enterprise architect. The enterprise architect will guide the whole process and MariaDB Consulting Services will conduct the migration. Alternatively, we can work with partners or third party system integrators. We will still allocate an enterprise architect to the project who will work with your teams and the system integrator. If you prefer a more hands on approach, but still require a helping hand, MariaDB Enterprise Architects can help migration by providing assessments, strategies, guidance and hands on examples. Finally, you may prefer a self service approach to migration, but MariaDB will not leave you in the dark. We can provide you with access to a migration portal and self service training to help you migrate. From our experience, there are various key pieces to allow for a successful migration. Your business must expect there to be a cost and must budget for the migration. You might have to review some of your current database features to ensure that you are using modern and well-structured SQL. And this might require some work from your development teams. You have to be ready and want to migrate. And migration requires buy-in from the most senior levels within the organization. And generally, most organizations will require some kind of post sales or consulting assistance to ensure a smooth process and a trouble free cutover. MariaDB is ready to support you on your migration journey and are here to assist you as required. But before I continue, I just want to ensure we are all on the same page when it comes to MariaDB. As a MariaDB enterprise customer, you will have access to our enterprise product, the database engine, the enterprise server. It's designed to meet the most complex modern database challenges in scalability, performance, availability, and security. It is built to support the broadest set of modern use. It can handle any workload from single database front end to a disruptive application. The MariaDB Enterprise Server provides compatibility with proprietary databases like Oracle and SQL Server. And when I say compatibility, this is sometimes as simple as setting the SQL mode to equal Oracle. This can streamline the migration process and minimize your costs, all whilst enabling you to leverage modern architectures. The enterprise server is extensively tested and MariaDB provides a long support window of each version. It only includes stable plugins and it's hardened and secured by default, ensuring it is ready for your enterprise. The MariaDB enterprise server simplifies development and eliminates the need for multiple database solutions, which can be easily deployed on premise in any private or public cloud and even hybrid environments. One of the biggest jewels in the MariaDB crown is MaxScale. MaxScale is engineered for customers who are deploying and maintaining databases that require high availability or in my preferred option, continuous availability of the data layer. It can help manage disaster recovery and implementation of more advanced security requirements. I would like to remind you of some further enterprise features. 
MariaDB Enterprise goes above and beyond standard security features such as roles and auditing. It includes advanced data protection and security layers such as complete end-to-end -end encryption, data at rest encryption, and the ability to manage and rotate security keys with products such as HashiCorp Vault. MariaDB Enterprise Server comes with a non-blocking backup mechanism that is critical for those 24-7 applications. Your system can carry on working and the backup process is even automatically verified. We understand our enterprise customers require advanced auditing of their systems and the enterprise solution comes with an advanced auditing system. MaxScale is an all-in-one proxy it is an intelligent load balancer and data manipulation layer that provides high availability, data protection, automated failover, and monitoring of the backend database servers. It can be used to help protect against data loss, data masking. It can reject queries that might not have a where clause, and it can limit the results returned to the client. MaxScale removes the complexity of application development and simplifies database administration and comes with a modern GUI to monitor your databases. It also has APIs that can be exposed to allow you to manage it via automation. MariaDB support can provide 30 minute response times for critical issues. In the unlikely event of complete system outage, our technical experts are ready to help you. You have 24-7 access to our support staff. They can help out with priority bug fixes and security patches, and you might even call on them to help with some consultative support. We also have a dedicated team of remote DBAs, enterprise architects, and migration managers who provide extended services when needed. When you bring these together, MariaDB offers an ecosystem that is far superior to any legacy database offering. MariaDB's architecture is flexible. Our enterprise server supports various deployment options. All of these are available in high availability configurations and they can be spread across different availability zones and even different continents. All of our enterprise installations should be installed with MaxScale. MaxScale is a standalone software product and as already mentioned, it serves as the role of a proxy between your clients and your backend database topology. Utilizing MariaDB MaxScale, it provides tools that the enterprise expects. It is possible to achieve a very high level of availability with MariaDB. If a database node goes offline for any reason, this could be hardware or software failure or planned maintenance, MaxScale can promote one of your replicas. Implementing MaxScale provides you with automatic failover. No more downtime in the event of a database server failure. A new server will be elected to be the primary by MaxScale. This saves many hours of manual process. As a side note, MariaDB also has functionality to support a NoSQL document protocol. So, for example, if you have a Mongo application running, this can be plugged directly in to MariaDB without you having to make any changes to your application. Likewise, if you use Kafka connectors within your application, this can be plugged into MariaDB directly for either inputting or outputting data into these streams. Bringing all of these functions together allows any application that you might have that requires a database to be plugged into MaxScale. Alternatively, you could use Column Store for storing analytical data. This architectural diagram 
is slightly different, but demonstrates how many different data sources can be streamed into MariaDB. MariaDB has a comprehensive portfolio of solutions. Data breaches are expensive. Between business disruption, loss of customer confidence, legal costs, regulatory fines, and any direct losses that may result from a ransomware attack. For instance, the effect can add up to millions. On top of all of MariaDB enterprise architectures, security is key to everything we do. Our pluggable architecture allows third-party solutions to be plugged into MariaDB. It's also very important that we provide end-to-end -end encryption. This ensures that your data is secured from leaving your application until it is securely secured on disk. This can prevent against man-in-the-middle attacks or people sniffing for your network for sensitive information. To complement the database product, MariaDB provides many services. We can provide a dedicated enterprise architect, we can provide consultants, and we even provide training. Now, the big question, why do people migrate to MariaDB? The answers are simple. Whilst people may move to MariaDB for lower cost of ownership, they also move to MariaDB as our products are fast, stable, highly available, and they run on commodity hardware. Our licensing is simple and we are endlessly scalable and very easy to deploy and manage. The number one reason people are migrating to MariaDB is that they can achieve enterprise level software at open source rates. The total cost of ownership is tiny when compared to legacy database providers. The following costs of each database are calculated using published list prices based on a minimal configuration capable of meeting standard enterprise requirements for a database. For a further breakdown of the costs, please refer to our white papers that are available on our website. Over three years, Oracle costs 84 times more than MariaDB. Or if you're looking for an annual cost saving, MariaDB is 33 times a year cheaper. For just three on-premise servers, you can save 1.1 million annually or 9 million over the three years comparison period. Cloud databases are even more expensive than on-prem. And this is demonstrated by the fact that Oracle can cost up to 151 times more than MariaDB over three years of ownership. And this can offer a cost saving of $16 million. For organizations with more than one cluster of servers, the savings are very significant. It's important that you understand just why our customers are saying and the success they have. I have three customer success stories for you. Now, Marta, who's one of our amazing London-based business development representatives, is going to explain to you about some of our customer success stories. So over to you, Marta. Although I can't hear you, Marta. Excuse me. <laughs> so we will start with DBS. Uh, the largest bank in South Asia, DBS Bank, decided to migrate to MariaDB from Oracle. DBS is an amazing organization with $480 billion in assets, working in 18 global markets and employs over 29,000 people. At some point, 
They decided that it was no longer acceptable to be under the grasp of Oracle and looked into different alternatives. They moved more than 200,000 lines of PLSQL to MariaDB, utilizing the Oracle mode. This meant over 700 global deployments, of which 66 were critical tier one and two applications. The Oracle compatibility mode ensured that more than 30 Oracle features worked straight out of the box. The results? DVS reported that their customer experience was twice as fast running on MariaDB and the savings were about $4.1 million. Visma, on the other hand, when Visma Presidos application needed a new lease of life and some modernization, they turned to their legacy database provider for assistance. This consisted in an accounting solution for about 1.4 million customers processing 12 million invoices a year. So they needed to ensure that they were providing the best value for money, scalability, high availability, and security to their customers. The legacy data provider was already costing too much money, and in order to handle the increased data load, additional hardware was going to be required, and therefore licenses costs were going to increase further. And to add in the data inscription was going to cost them significantly more. Along with the SQL dialect they were using, which was expensive to maintain, they had to find an alternative solution. Here's how we helped them. MariaDB reduced their annual spend by 10% of the original cost and removed the need for additional licensing, saving Visma a serious amount of money. Transaction times were reduced from between 1.5 to 2 seconds to under 700 milliseconds, and the MariaDB remote DVA services has already helped them improve Visma services. And finally, we have Samsung SDS. Samsung Data System provides their customers optimized cloud services and digital platform-based logical services. The Knox portal is one of these workspaces used by about half a million Samsung employees. Samsung SDS migrated over 50 portals to MariaDB from Oracle, reducing their operational cost by 50% and achieved this with zero impact to the customers. Since then, the migration, they've had no downtime whatsoever and are able to patch and apply security updates to the systems without a single concern. Thank you, Marta. Thank you for that. So I'll try to keep this very high level. As I know, not everyone is going to be technical, but some of this information will be very useful to you. Whilst most data types that might be used on a legacy schema can be mapped to either an, either an alias or an original data type within MariaDB, on occasion we might have to modify the schema if the data type is not supported. MariaDB can work with you to resolve these and our migration portal will help identify any discrepancies early on. MariaDB makes it easy for you to migrate from your legacy database provider by setting the SQL mode. For example, if you set this to be Oracle, then almost all of your PL SQL will be understood by MariaDB, meaning that you need to make very few changes to your legacy application. The SQL mode can be set for the whole database layer, or if preferred, in particular, stored procedures and functions. You can, of course, still use SQL PSM, which is the SQL standard, within MariaDB as well. MariaDB has full enterprise functionality, and we have a solution at a much lower cost. For any of the Oracle features that you might need, we have an equivalent. It is worth noting that MariaDB runs on standard commodity hardware and no expensive hardware is required for some of the functionality that you might require for Oracle. Now, let me get back onto the track of migrations. After completing many, many migrations, MariaDB knows what is required to make a migration successful. We need a solid migration team that includes many different roles. We want to ensure we have all of the stakeholders available so that we cover the entire end-to-end -end migration process. 
Your DBAs can work alongside the Maria DB DBA team, application developers and QAs, who must be backed by project management and product owners to ensure a seamless migration. Any change managers, instant support teams, um, they must be online, engaged and ready for the process. We have a proven methodology. Your migration to MariaDB is viable. It can be cost effective and it can modernize your offering. But before we start, we need to assess the migration together. We will engage various members of the team to ensure migration is correct for you. Once we are collectively satisfied with the migration process, we will work through initially the schema migration, and then in parallel, we'll work on the data and application code migration. We will create and implement a robust plan to ensure data will be migrated and replicated into initially a test system to assure the quality of the migration, and then we will work together to migrate into a live production platform to complete the final cutover. Over the next few slides, we will look at each of these elements in slightly more detail. The first phase is to inventory your schema, stored procedures, events, functions, indexes, and data. And with this, we are able to carry out some assessments. Within the assessment, we will be able to build the plan and mitigate any possible issues. The MariaDB experts look at issues flagged in the assignment and plan migration steps or highlight code and parts of the application that might require slight modifications. After the assessment is completed and we are committed to the migration, the first focus will be on your schema migration. We will use an automated process to migrate all schema objects. This tool will be used to trans DDL to a format understood by MariaDB. If you have lots of stored code, such as triggers, functions, store procedures, you'll begin to translate the code into MariaDB SQL PSM, or alternatively, we will keep it in the standard PL SQL that you might be using. It is important that at this stage that unit testing is completed on the code and the results are compared against the legacy database system. It is worth mentioning at this point that MariaDB off offers our customers a migration portal. This really simplifies your migration pre preparation process. We offer the portal for migrating from many different sources all you have to do is upload a schema file and we will process it for you. The system will then tell you if any of your data types will need to be changed. And if they do, our tool will help do it for you. And it's not just the data types we check, but all functions, stored procedures, packages and statements that exist in your schema. This will give you, you the ability to help gauge how much effort might be required to make the migration successful. When the schema migration is taking place, focus should also be applied to the migration of the application. These two activities can be done in parallel. This work may need to be completed by a third party. If, for example, you don't have internal access to the code or the development code to carry out the work. When we move to the data migration part of the project, we'll want to ensure we have a repeatable process that is reliable and ensures a consistent snapshot of the data in a safe way from the source into the new MariaDB architecture. Replicating the data from legacy systems to MariaDB allows any changes to be replicated, allowing for a seamless translation in to MariaDB. Manual QA is a vital step in this process. 
We can use automation to carry out things like checksums, counts, smoke testing, but the manual process is important to ensure that application is working as expected and to make sure data is not garbled or translated or replicated poorly. The data and structure of the schema need checking along with any APIs to ensure they are working as expected. Processes that might happen at night time or in batches, reporting, cron jobs, backups, and anything else that might connect to the database aside from the main application will also need to be tested as well. Tools and scripting can help here, but a manual process for sign-off is required against the real data. When moving into the last stage of the migration process, we need to ensure that all QA tests are complete. A live snapshot of the data is migrated to the destination system and replication is running to ensure new data is migrated into the MariaDB system. A final, non-destructive, not changing the data, set of testing has to take place. A cutover can then be as seamless as changing an IP address or a DNS setting or a connector to point to the new system. A well-designed cutover can happen with no downtime. Some organisations will want to have a failback process for a period of time, so the replication might need to be reversed at the point of cutover so that the data in MariaDB is migrated back to your legacy system. It is expected that a well-tested solution will not need to be rolled back and instead a fixed forward mentality will be applied to smooth out any teething issues that might be experienced on the first few days. For this, the whole team will need to be engaged and MariaDB will support you to ensure a smooth transition. Then the part we're all here for, the legacy system can be turned off and decommissioned. Old expensive hardware can be removed, licenses can be revoked and old support contracts can be thrown out in replacement for one lean cost effective MariaDB solution. In conclusion, MariaDB are able to help you with your migration. We can assist you with a clean, well-proven migration process that is repeatable and reliable. We will provide you with as much or as little help as you require. Our experts are standing by ready to assist you. MariaDB can provide enterprise architects who can take control of the migration process, providing guidance and insight into each phase of the project. We can help with integration tests, switchover planning, rollbacks and point of no return, proof of concepts, internal and external or partner coordination. We can analyse your current schema and work with you to ensure the changes are made. We can work with your architect and design your infrastructure, ensuring best practices are implemented, including high availability, disaster recovery and backup. Now, don't forget, MariaDB can also provide your staff with the training required, be it developers, DBAs, support staff or architects with live virtual on-site training. Now, thank you very much for your time. And if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask now or to reach out to us at a later date. Thank you. Thank you, Kester, for that wonderful presentation. Uh, there are no Q&As at this point, but for anybody who's in the session, please feel free to uh, go to their booth in order to ensure that uh, you get the requisite information. Thank you for attending the session.